Hey guys, Jamonks all the here again, but you can call me Chip, and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to and reviewing the newest Fae channel, August 1st, 2024, um, for Fire Emblem Heroes. Now, um, I don't know what's going to happen in this Fae channel. Maybe we'll get some Choose Your Legend stuff, but um, uh, the thumbnail and like the, the tweet had the picture of like the, the beach and stuff, so maybe some more summer stuff. I don't know. Uh, so let's see. Hello, Faye. It's a warm, sunny day in Asker today. Faye, Faye! Everyone seems to be enjoying summer to the fullest. Now, Very nice. If you don't mind, let me just... Ah, Cute, that's I guess. better. As per usual, I, Faye, Have we ever seen am about Faye's to little so talent? exciting news to you summoners. Or so sit back. This page just randomly have feet showing right now. The latest information on the Fire Emblem Heroes game. It's time for Fey Channel. Fey Channel. Let's get started. Let's go. Let's see. First. Uh, I see a Lilith mask. I don't know what that's about, but sure. Ta da! Fey Summer, Summer sub celebration. celebration. Is back again. Back again. Fire Was this Emblem a thing Heroes before? It's seven and a half year anniversary on August second. Oh. And I Hereby thank you for your continued effort on the battlefield. Very cool. Now then, let me explain the summer celebration. For starters, there will be a login bonus. Very nice. Log in for 10 days Ooh. during the active period, and you can receive these rewards. No orbs, but summon okay. tickets are nice. That includes summon tickets, too. Next up, some celebratory special maps. All right. These special maps feature the top 40 heroes chosen in the A Hero Rises 2024 event. And we'll be releasing one each day for 10 days during the active period. They will be available on normal and hard difficulties. So there's 20 and orbs right there. It's so very nice. Difficulties, you can earn up to 10 orbs and 10 summon oh, tickets. Oh, okay, that makes sense too. Hey, okay, sure. Isn't this the same ticket I introduced earlier? Nice. Now I get it. These are tickets you can use specifically in this summoning event. Jeez. During this summoning event, you're guaranteed a hero from the four-star special hero special rate pool. Oh. Bear in mind, you can only summon once per ticket, but you'll get to welcome a five-star special hero to your barracks. That's pretty good. This four-star special hero special rate summoning event is set to start on August 2nd. Go ahead. So go for those old merges that y'all missed Next back in the up, day. That'd be that makes sense. Celebratory quests and Aether raids quests. Sure. If you complete Ooh, these Formal quests Soul. during the active period, you can receive the rewards you see here. Ooh, I just used I most of my Forma Soul? Souls recently, so I can use that to add a Forma unit as my ally. Get a little replenishment oh, on that is nice, but only you two orbs. Five hundred of these Aether stones. You can exchange them for a special structure. This time, it's yours truly at the beach. So sure. don't forget. Moving on, we've got Grand Hero Battle Revivals and related quests. The Grand Hero Battles you see here will return for two days each. These quests can even get you five-star Grand Heroes. Oh, oh so that's right. you might want to give them a shot, even if you've done them before. That's pretty good. Pretty Next nice. Next up, our celebratory skill focus summoning event revivals. Skill We're focus. Back to oh, okay. Previously held skill focus summoning events. You can summon a focus hero of your choice after summoning 40 times during each summoning event. Okay, that's a lot of sparks, but definitely. And last, basically, no one's going to do those. We have a celebratory hero fest. Give a warm welcome to our hero. In red, a tuned hero Triandra! Not bad. In blue, Winter Festival Edelgard! Very nice. In green, duo hero Leon! Ooh! And the colorless hero will be... Mythic hero Gulveg! What'd you just call her? Okay, uh, two seconds. In Duo Hero Leon! So, 
his name has been up in the air, whether it's Leon or Leon, you know, there's that, right? And I was just going to rewind for this specifically. But then... And the colorless hero will be... Mythic Hero Gulveig! Gulveig? Whatever. Whatever. Who cares at this point? <laughs> fee, fee. Talk about dependable allies. Pronunciation is For just... Hero who fact, cares? The five-star hero initial appearance rate will be set to 8%. Fae Pass subscribers can summon a five-star hero of their choice after summoning 40 times during the event. And they can do that up to four times. Triander is also on the current, like, rerun. Um, Think again. What are they called? The Forging Bonds? The current rerun Forging Bonds that's happening right now? So if you haven't summoned from those, then you could go for Triandra with those tickets. Um, though on that banner there are Attuned Peony and Rearmed Sonia. So going for green is probably what y'all ended, uh, ended up doing, maybe. Um, but if you are a big Triandra fan, then there's that, as well as this banner, I guess. But then, like, the Duo Leon is crazy. Uh, Gulbeak is great, and Edelgard is always... Uh, the top hitter, so go for whoever. You also get five first summon tickets to use for this hero fest just by logging in once during the active period. Pretty good. Be sure to take advantage of this opportunity to add one of these coveted heroes to your barracks. Well, that's it for Faye's summer celebration. Hey, take a look at all those rewards. So many summon tickets. Okay. Uh, not a lot of orbs, but yeah, that's a lot of summon tickets. So that's pretty cool. Makes me feel like quite the night owl. That's a nice background. It's so quiet. Faye, what's that sound? Oh, fireworks! We do not want to miss this. Faye, well, that's fun. It's so pretty. Happier than a lark to see so many people dancing and having fun. Let's check out what's going on over here. Faye! Festivals are a blast. I can't help but get caught up in all the excitement. Faye, Faye! It's Micaiah and Alencia. Uh, and who's that? that with them? That looks like Selena. Yukata are so cute. <sighs> they make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Mia? Aww, Festival Mia. Mia. She sounds thrilled to be wearing a yukata for the first time. That's so pretty. And She's so pretty. Cotton candy. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that grilled corn okay, it wasn't and Selena. strawberries too? Mm. She looks wonderful, doesn't she? That bright yukata really suits her. Thank you for inviting me to the festival. Lucia? We're going to have fun. It's Lucia! Ooh. She's attending the festival in an elegant yukata. I wonder if those water balloons are souvenirs for Alincia and Jeffrey. And her wind chime and morning glory decorations are so refreshing. Very pretty. Very pretty art. Ooh, hey. more. Uh, talk to me, maybe? And Leo. Too. It might be Leo. Ooh, just when I thought Xander couldn't get any more handsome. Okay. Fei Fei, it's... Hoshido's summer festival yep. is, as expected, quite different from Norse. He's got the tomatoes. I thought it was Leo. Yep. He looks so stylish Ooh, his mask is Yukata, cool. doesn't he? That black is so appropriate for someone from Nor. <laughs> Those tomatoes and cucumbers in his bucket. I just want to swoop right in and... Uh, what? 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 Okay, Faye's being weird. Oboro picked out this yukata for me. Looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, that, that's cute. So yeah, Leo's and mask course, was the beast can, me. Uh, and then the uh, this mask is the kitsune. Very cute. A yukata with a blue haori. Oh, oh and that fox mask is so cute. Wanna bet he won that toy he's holding from a shooting gallery? <laughs> Very nice. Also, uh, I guess we saw his skills there. Uh, he looks like a demote, if anything. Two skills and a 
an inheritable weapon and shove, so maybe a demote there. Um, I didn't really see what the rest of them had. It does look like Leo has desperation on him as like the little skill, if you can see it. But either way, a uh, very nice banner. And someone else. So oh, a duo. Faye, I see some people over there having a good time. I reckon that their outfit looks amazing on you. I, I mean, uh, it really suits you. Nephany and Sokka. You look wonderful too, Nephany. Very cute. Oh, it's Nephany and Sakura. Nephany has a fox mask on instead of a helmet. That flower pattern on her yukato really brings out her eyes. Faye, this is are those cherry fun. blossoms on Sakura's yukata? Oh, just perfect. Very, very pretty. Well, I mean, yeah, it's Sakura. Probably they color coordinated <laughs> their water so balloons too. <laughs> They're really enjoying each other's company. Very, very cute. So, I like that. Mia, Lucia, Leo, and harmonized hero Nephany. Oh, he's probably this the, the free unit. Here in the special hero summoning event, Timidity Trials. Timidity? And you can add Takumi to your allies by earning points in the upcoming Tempest Trials Plus event. Okay, makes sense. Uh, I guess there's no demo the on that. So or uh, no four star on that banner, I maybe. I'll join in it might be Leo, too. but whatever. Yeah. Yay! I got a mask! Oh, I guess it was just a mask. So, how do I look? Sure. Up next. Okay, that's all it was. All the info you've been waiting for on the next version update. Hold on to those feathers, and I'll tell you what to look forward to in version 8.8. .8. First up, five maps will be added to the arena. Team composition will be of utmost importance. Okay. Next, More maps is a cool, I guess. Difficulty will be added to United Warfront. Ooh. Previously, the highest difficulty was Infernal. But now you can play on Abyssal difficulty. Foes will be even more dangerous with strength and abilities. Fey, I hope I don't chicken out. Um, it wasn't that hard the first time, that game mode. But, I mean, maybe a bit more difficult. A bit better. What were the rewards again? I wasn't paying attention. Foes will be even more um, some orbs, some ephemera codes, two orbs, three orbs, four orbs, five orbs, five orbs, and some dragon flowers and ephemera codes. I guess that's cool. Let's talk about Hero's Journey. Now, it'll be easier to unlock memento events. Well, that's nice. You'll only need ten memory fragments instead of twenty to unlock memento events. Okay. During each hero's journey, you'll be able to use them to unlock a total of six instead of only three. Oh, okay. I guess if you missed some in the past. So many memento events to my collection. Next up, I mean, I have all of them. So, don't really need that, mixes. but the, the lesser amount the heroes you see for the memories is pretty helpful. Appearances in the upcoming remixes. Also, Ooh. Claude and Wait. Hero remixes. The heroes you see here will make their first appearances in the upcoming remixes. That's a lot of remixes. Oh my also, gosh. Claude and Uller are about to become even more powerful. Pretty cool. Not bad. Let's take a closer look. First, Claude. Sure thing. He'll receive a new skill. Fallen Star. Uh, Fallen Star 2. If unit initiates combat or Deep Star is active on unit, click speed defense minus 5 on foe. Unit deals plus X times 5 damage, max 25. Uh, and reduce damage from foe's first attack by X times 3 during combat, uh, max of 15. X equals number of bonus effects active on unit, uh, excluding stat bonuses, plus number of penalty effects active on foe, excluding stat penalties. If unit initiates combat, reduce damage from foe's first attack by 80% during combat. Um, yeah. If after combat, grants deep star to, to unit and inflicts gravity on target and foes within one space of target. Um, I don't have... Legendary Claude, I don't know how much of an improvement this is, but uh, an improvement is always good. And then Guidance 4 is just pretty good fodder as well. If you have um, if you have like extra of him, you can get Attack Speed Catch all the way to 4 and then Guidance 4. Um, or uh, Guidance all the way to 4 and then Attack Speed Catch 4, uh, if you have prerequisite for that. 
Um, but pretty good. Um, like I said, I don't know his what it was prior, but if it's a buff, then very strong. Uh, he is kind of annoying to go against sometimes, so cool. R2, which states, when your unit initiates combat, your opponent's speed and defense are reduced, and your unit will inflict more damage according to their number of bonus effects and your opponent's number of penalty effects. Plus, he'll also get the skill Guidance 4. Very nice. Second, Uller. Very well. She'll receive the skill Ingvi Ascendant Plus. Um, inflict speed defense minus 5 on foe, and neutralizes effects that guarantee foe's fall up attacks, and event effects that prevent units fall up attacks during combat. And also, if decreasing the speed difference necessary to make a fall up attack by 10 would allow a unit to trigger a fall up attack, um, triggers potent follow 100% during combat. Wow. Um, if unit initiates combat, unit can make a fall up attack before foe's next attack. Um, oh my gosh. That's my dog. Um... Hopefully he stops barking, but going back to the the skill, that's that's very good. The potent follow-up is very, very strong. Potent is a very, very good B skill, but it's not in a lot of places. I think it's just on Emblem Marth. Um, oh, and I think it's on the duo bridal... Um, oh my gosh, what's her name? The Veronica... Oh my gosh, how, how did I forget her name? Sharena. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot Sharena's name. Anyways, um, yeah, I think those are the only units that have Potent. Um, but Potent follow 100%. I don't know if that's like a, a different one. Um, I think it's better. Um, like, I think the Potent follow-up does like reduced um, damage on the third hit. But if it's at 100%, maybe it's full damage on a third hit. Either way, uh, very strong. Um, and attack speed Oath 4 is just very, very helpful. Um, so cool. Which states, your opponent's speed and defense decrease during combat, and you'll neutralize effects that guarantee your foe a follow-up attack or effects that prevent yours. Plus, if you meet the right conditions, it also triggers a potent follow-up. Yeah, that, that follow-up, all three hits had 11 damage, attack so speed four. I think it is buffed potent Finally, versus the actual new B skill. Heroes will join uh, the very summoning cool. focus revivals. These heroes will be added to the weekly revival roster starting on August 11th, which means they will no longer appear as five-star heroes in other summoning events, oh. but will instead appear at the four-star special rate. Um, that's that's cool, but the, like a, every time this happens, the four-star special pool is getting bigger and bigger. So, very cool. Got a few ascended units in there. Um, uh, got some also really good fodder. You got lethality in there. Um, very cool. Uh, not bad. Uh, reducing the overall 5-star pool is always very good, but the 4-star special pool is getting pretty bad. Oh, my other dog now. Faye! Ascended heroes Fjorm, Legyarn, Joshua, and Edun? That's right! Ascended heroes will now start appearing! I'd like to summon an ascended hero myself! Let's give it a try. <clears throat> that's that's very good. Hey! Uh, weekly banners with ascended units on them Not is pretty helpful. Yet. I managed to summon a whole 40 times. On a weekly banner? This is... Oh, what's this? Now, everyone will be able to select a hero to summon after summoning 40 times in each weekly revival too. Okay, you can spark on weekly banners now. It's easier to get that hero I've had my eye on. Interesting. Weird. If you have like a surplus of orbs and you're just like, uh, there none of these units that I really want, but I really do want a plus 10 um that unit that appears on the weekly banner, then I guess you can do that. Um very cool. Um well, I say cool, but it's not like a lot of people are going to spark on weekly banners. Um, but even then, uh, with the Ascendants now in that, if you like missed their like official banners when they dropped, um, and you haven't been able to get them since, uh, that's a pretty good way to get them, I guess. If you're, re if you're really in need of uh, an Ascended Floret or something like that, and you haven't gotten those units yet, 
either way, uh, pretty interesting. Not bad, I guess, but um, definitely an addition, if anything. Uh, so cool. Not a bad Fey channel. I know it's not fully over yet, but um, the banners, very cute. They all look very good in their yukatas. Um, and other than that, like, I guess a few more game mode stuff. Uh, what else was there? Um, but yeah, all the, all the summon tickets that we get, those are, that's very nice. Um, let's see, the new free, the free five stars that we're going to get from all the Grand Hero Battle Revivals. Um, the Hero Fest banner, which is pretty good. Though, uh, I think it said you need Fey Pass to spark on that. I don't know if that was always the case, but either way, um, a good banner. And then let's see, what was the rewards? Yeah, 25 summon tickets. Um, just 12 orbs, but another flora, or flora, uh, flora, flora muscle. Um, so pretty good rewards overall. Um, yeah. And then the banner, very cute. Um, I wonder if Lucio will have the effect that she has at base, where she, like, neutralizes the usage of specials. Um, very cool. So I know the Lucia fans out there will be happy. Uh, also the Nephany fans. Um, I think that's Nephany's first alt. Um, I know she got a Resplendent a little while ago, but an alt is very cool. Um, very, very nice. And then new game mode stuff, uh, new remixes, lots of remixes coming soon. New Grail pool, not Grail pool, new summon pool, uh, revamp. So very, very nice. Announcements sure were lively. They Just were like the festival. Faye, oh, what is it? What's happening? Oh, I can't wait. Fireworks are about to be launched. <gasps> Maybe I am a night owl after all. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> the Faye just turned around. That was weird. Next time will be Choose Your Legends. Okay, so it wasn't this Fate channel. The next Fate channel will be Choose Your Legends, though. So that's very nice. Um, yeah, I think that that's a pretty good Fate channel. Um, I think there's definitely stuff that could be better in... I guess that's the case for all Fate channels. But new game mode stuff, like I was saying. And then new banner is very cool. But other than that, there's... I guess there's not much to talk about. Um, yeah, so very, very nice. Let me know what y'all thought about the Fade channel uh, in the comments. I, I think, um, I wonder if the banner trailer uh, has already dropped. I'm, I'm going to check that real quick. Um, and I guess we'll just sit here for a bit. And like th this banner is very good. Uh, Ghoul vague. That's a bit weird. Um... No, it doesn't look like the banner trailer has come out, so whenever that comes out, I guess I'll make a reaction video of that um, and read out all the skills of these units right here. Where's the, the full picture of them all? Um, Y'all. Nice yeah, very pretty. Everyone looks very good. And then talking is free from the Tempest Trials. And then CYL will be, I guess, next month or uh, whenever the next Fate Channel drops. Um, very, very good. Very good Fate Channel. Fate Channels are always very decent. But, yeah. Um, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. But until then, goodbye.